All right, so Liv suggested that this triangle and this triangle are similar. Liv, how do you know that? Angle and similarity. They both have a right angle, and what else? Angle D. Now, this is what I was suggesting to do. When you know that two angles are similar, mark the third pair of angles congruent as well. So, for instance, the third angle here on the turquoise has to be congruent to the third angle here on the yellow. So you, you know that, that those must be congruent so you can mark those. Oh Yeah, that's the right angle, sorry. It would be this angle, right? And this angle. Are there any other pairs of similar triangles, Isabel? Um, a, B, C, and B, B, A. Uh, so you're saying A, B, C, and what other one? How do you know that? Um, Which angle? So uh, this angle right here, you're saying, has to be congruent to that angle up there? Yeah. Yeah, but this angle right here is not part of the turquoise, turquoise triangle. Angle C? Is it? Why? Angle C is congruent to another angle that we can find out. Mm -hmm. Naomi? Um, well, since and are these lines have to be parallel so because of the right and angles. And are Which ones? Say it again. Do we see that? Alternate interior angles here. This angle up here is congruent to this angle down here because of alternate interior angles. And we could do the same with this other transversal as well, right? Now what that does is it gives us enough to prove those triangles Isabel was talking about. Now both triangles have a right angle. They both have this double arc. The turquoise one, double arc is right here. The purple double arc is here. And they both have a single arc. Purple single arc is here. Turquoise, well, and then by no choice theorem, single arc one is here. Because they also both have a right angle. Yeah, so there's a lot of similar triangles here. This triangle is also similar to this triangle, right? This green one, actually all the triangles highlighted are similar to each other. You're more likely to see that if, as soon as you know that two triangles are similar, mark, mark all three pairs of angles congruent. Because for instance, uh, this angle right here is part of the turquoise triangle. Um, Maybe that's a bad example. This, uh, this angle right here is part of the green triangle. It's also part of the blue triangle. So if you know this angle is a certain kind of angle, like a double arc angle, it's similar to this angle up here, you're going to be able to use that for the multiple triangles. I don't know if that's clear. Thumbs up if you see why all these triangles are similar. Like you can derive it, you understand it. Those in the middle, kind of. Okay, there's at least one person with their thumb up at every group. Talk with your group. Why are all those triangles similar?
again, the, the strategy that I'm encouraging you to do, and, and I did this with the triangles that Liv suggested, if you're given this, now this is obviously a simpler picture than you'd, you'd be given, but you know those triangles are similar. You also know that you've got two pairs of angles congruent. Right? You've got two pairs of angles congruent. The third must be, that's the no choice theorem. If two pairs of angles congruent and, and two triangles, the third pair must be congruent. When you know two triangles are similar, uh, like the first two that were mentioned, mark, go ahead and mark that third angle congruent because that third angle is probably also going to be an angle for another triangle. You're just getting more information for other triangles. The more information you have, the more you, know, the more you can do. Now, which triangles are we actually going to use to set up? I'm looking for BD. Which triangles do we actually want to use for, to find X? Kevin? So, these two triangles? Okay, so let's redraw those triangles. Why did you pick those two? Great. So uh, this would be the x, and this would be the 6. This, the, in between the right angle and the angle of the double arc, the right angle and the angle of the double arc, that's a side length of 6. In between the single arc and the right angle, right angle, single mark, that's the x. I'm just orienting the picture in the right way. So Kevin, what's the proportion here? Any questions on this?